Well, it's a beautiful Saturday morning here for the final 2022 event of the season, the AVP Pro Series the Central Florida Open. Next up, a women's contenders matchup on stadium court. Let's go courtside to Mark Sherman for the introduction of our teams. Right now, yes, hello again. Oh man, the sun is shining. It is warm today. I would, I would take this sweatshirt off if it wasn't the only red, white, and blue thing I had on me because Team USA is playing right now. So I'm gonna keep it on. Uh, and we're going to meet the players of our first women's match of the day here in Tavares on Stadium Court after we get a high five from this guy. Yeah, buddy. And getting ready to play their first match on Stadium here in their first tournament together, getting the last moments of encouragement before the match from their coach. Yes, this first young lady playing in her first ever Pro Series main draw out of Fountain Valley, California and the Long Beach State University. Let me hear it for Nicole Ranking. And her partner out of MIT. I always have to emphasize that just because I'm so dang impressed by that, I know. Literally has never stopped smiling in her life. And she's sponsored officially by Google. Look at that, that's a first. Ladies and gentlemen, she is the Megan Kephart. And their opponent, oh, good to see this player back on the court out of Stanford University and originally Hermosa Beach, California. Oh my gosh, can't wait to see what you're putting out there right now. Yes, the firefighter, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch her bring the fire. It's Carly Wopat. <laughs> and her partner out of Florida Atlantic and the University of Florida, out of the nearby-ish, Boca Raton, Florida, everybody. Let me hear it loud and proud for Megan Rice. Thank you. Close-ish, yeah. It's a big state, big state. All right, Dane, Blanton, Matt Proster getting ready to start this matchup. Another 12 versus 13 seed contenders bracket match on stadium court, Dane, but this time on the women's side. What do you expect to see from these two teams? Well, similar to our 12-13 matchup on the men's side, I think the 12 seed may pull this off. That's Megan Rice and Carly Wopat, a little more experience on their side. But both these teams have one loss already happening yesterday, and how they rebound is going to be crucial here. But the experience definitely on the side of Rice and Wopat. Yeah, Carly Wopat. One of the most physical players on the AVP Tour, taking a bit of a hiatus from the sport as she pursued her career as a firefighter. But back on the court now, and everyone's very happy to see her back, the Stanford alum, showing her presence at the net and her side scoring the first point. The dig there, and Wopat on two, but her attack doesn't clear the net. So Gebhardt and Ranking scoring the first point of the match on their side. Yeah, you see right off the bat, both these teams very evenly matched, some long rallies, and it's gonna come down to, you know, consistency. Sometimes you just don't go for the winner, just keep it in, give yourself another opportunity. We'll pat on two. Nicely set up, but we have a, looks like a net violation called against Carly Wopat on that attack. Yeah, just reached a little bit too far over. And um, those refs are going to get you every single time. Some of the micro nets that are hard to see are, are called. Wopat's going to have to take off just a little bit further off the net on that last one. And Wopat responds nicely with that attack to the corner. Evening, evening us up at two points apiece here early in set number one. Good jump serve by Carly Wilpat to the sideline. And a nicely placed shot that time by Megan Gebhardt. Yeah, as Mark Sherman mentioned, she was an outside hitter, an All-American for MIT. 
and getting more and more experience every day here out on the AVP tour. Great shot there by Megan Rice. Our first look at her offensive capabilities. As Rice goes back to serve, gets a little help off the net. But ranking that time from the right side, going high off the hands and out of play. Yeah, like that play by ranking on the right side, going high hands, and everyone know what's going to happen there. But um, go for those deep corners. Good things always seem to happen. It's a good start for Gebhard and ranking. Goes down the line. Big swing from the right side, but misses it just wide. And it's a two point advantage now for the 13th seeded team. Breaking with the serve again to Rice. Wopat on two, but it's controlled. Over on one, dug up nicely. And return for the point. Yeah, ranking right there, finding the angle and putting that ball away. And just like that, Gebhardt and ranking are out to a fabulous start. That's a sharp angle right there. Continuing to work on Rice. Sets a little bit tight, but well placed that time by Megan Rice. Rice comes in right here, sees the opening, and that's that finesse right there. Rice, a ton of experience, seven seasons on the AVP Tour, just 28 years of age. Carly Wolpat with the aggressive service error that time on the jump serve. Early on, still trying to find her rhythm from the inline date. They serve her from the left side. Strong attack that time by the former Stanford Cardinal, Carly Wopat. Yeah, it's important to kind of calibrate, figure out what kind of serve you're working with here. That serve is so effective. You're not just trying to get that ball in, you're trying to get that defense in trouble on that first contact. Well, there's an attack error from Gebhard, giving the point over to Wopat and Rice. And they serve right back to her. Too tight that time as Wopat is at the net for the easy put back for a point. Takes us to our 7-7 side switch here in set number one. Rice to get us back to action. Another serve off the tape, and this time she'll get the service A state. Yeah, you'll take that when you can get it. Go for that nice flat serve, crossing the net like below the top of the antenna, and a lot of times it's going to clip the top of the net. A lot of times you're going to put the opposition in trouble with that flat serve. Now there's another aggressive flat serve. Gebhard. From the right side. That was ranking, getting the side out in the point. And there's a service ace right back. This time off the platform. Right back. This time off the platform of Megan Rice. R ranking, serving the ball tough, taking full advantage of every opportunity from that back line, and there's another tough serve. Uh, but a big swing that time by Megan Rice. As Gebhard dropped off the net, Rice stayed aggressive, reached high for that ball, and found the open space for the point. Yeah, I think that's very important to note. When that blocker's dropping, you want to hit it right at him. 
Good self cover after the Wopat block, but Gebhardt and Ranking aren't able to get the third contact over the net. And now it's a one point advantage for Rice and Wopat. Wopat going to the jump float serve this time, cross court, passed well. And Rice was there, but maybe. That ball was gonna go out of bounds, but the point will go to Gebhard Ranking. Keeping it close here, one point from our technical timeout. Another tough serve, Wopat on two. Chance for the counter attack. Wopat dropped off the net, but the attack goes wide. 11-10 in favor of Rice and Wopat here in set number one. Yeah, like what uh, Ranking was trying to do, go to the retreating blocker. She just missed it barely on the sideline, but really solid start by Gebhardt and Ranking. They're keeping the ball in as much as possible from that service line and, and creating some opportunities for themselves, and they're right where they want to be. And elaborate for us, if you can, a little bit on the strategy of attacking the dropping blocker. It seems like there's a fine line to walk there hitting it at the dropping blocker or trying to thread the needle to the sideline. Yeah, it's interesting when there's a blocker at the net and they decide to drop off the net, that usually means that the defender is already in position waiting for you to hit that ball at them, whereas the blocker is a little bit unbalanced. So you want to blast that ball at the retreating blocker more times than not, and that's going to give you a, a much better opportunity to score. Nice crowd on hand here for this Saturday morning contenders match in Central Florida. Just couldn't have asked for a better day, Dane. No wind, mild temperatures, and some of the best volleyball players in the world getting after it here in the final event of the season. Yeah, a lot of volleyball being played internationally in Australia. And here in Central Florida, domestically in December, seems like the season these days, Matt, is going year round. Well, I'd love to see how long the seasons are going, what the calendars look like as we work our way through a lot of volleyball being played. Megan Rice with a great scoop and deliver that time for the real point as she continues to serve now a two point advantage to her side. But a nice response there by Ranking to go with the cut shot. Ranking with the jump float serve over to Rice, staying with that strategy. Bump set a little tight. Jousted but recycled, and then Wopat places that one deep to the corner for the point. Smart play, smart recovery right there by Rice and Wopat. And they're off to a 13-11 lead. Wopat goes back to the jump serve. Places it nicely down the line. Ranking goes to the back set. Puts too much on that one as Rice can't handle it. Yeah, I like how Gebhardt and Ranking uh, are positioning the ball. They're putting it in a really nice position when it crosses the net, and it's really allowing them to score a lot of points. Aggressive serve there by Gebhardt, but Rice places that one nicely over the block and into the corner, maintaining that two-point advantage. Yeah, Megan Rice went to Florida where she was a National Merit Scholarship. And then she played her beach at Florida Atlantic as a grad student. So quite the resume for Megan Rice. Here comes ranking and she just drops that ball short. Wopat 
can't change direction fast enough. Yeah, and like you said earlier, again, attacking towards the dropping blocker. Working nicely that time as Rice gets a free swing with no one in front of her, and she drives that one down to the court. Keeping that two-point advantage and taking us to the 21-point. Sorry, not the 21-point. Quick math there. Side switch. Carly, Carly. So a two-point advantage for Rice and Wopat. 15 serving 13. Wopat going with that high toss jump serve again. And it's a service ace finding a rhythm, Dane. Yeah, I think she loves to, to toss that ball extremely high, go after it, hit it at a really high point, and gets a lot of top spin action on the ball it ends up in front of the opposition very difficult to pass that one let's take a quick glance over to court one men's contender action chase buttinger stepping up to the end line his partner reed pretty olympic gold medalist manhattan beach open champion taking on hagen smith and jake dietrich on the far side competitive set number one 21 19 and just as expected, Dane, close here in set number two as well. Yeah, always so fun to watch Hagen Smith. Of course, son of the legendary Sinjin Smith. He is so physical, so athletic, and uh, very composed. It seemed like every time he steps on the court, he's getting better and better, and he's, he's part of that youth movement as well. And just an ultra competitor. <laughs> by no surprise at all, just like his father. Jake. Good job. A little patty cake back and forth there. Jake Dietrich patrolling the net, getting that point down. But back over to stadium court now. To the women's contender side, 16-13, set number one in favor of Rice and Wopat. Jump serve down the middle out of the timeout. Four. Well, miscommunication. And we're going to get four contacts called against Gebhardt in ranking. That's a, not one you see very often, Dane. Yeah, not sure what happened there, why they called four contacts. It'd be interesting to see that again. Maybe they both hit that first contact because here it comes down the middle. There's one. And that's two, and it looks like three. I'm not sure where the four contacts came in unless that ball ricocheted quickly on that first pass off of both players. Well, now a four-point advantage for Wopat. She goes back to the jump serve down the line. And a good right side attack that time from ranking. So down by three. Good serve over to Carly Wopat from the left side. High set, good deflection. The free ball gets passed back. Second chance for Carly. Good one-handed stab dig. Play on. Nice dig by the dropping blocker. And she turns it down the line. Nice rally by both sides, and the point goes to Gebhard Ranking. Yeah, Gebhard Ranking really groveling, trying to make something happen here on every single point. There's a nice reach, a hit down the line, and the put away. And they're trying to make a push here late in this first set. Tough jump, hybrid serve to Wopat. She can't handle it. Rice can't make it to the ball, so that'll go down as a service ace for Gebhard ranking. We've been talking about it, Dane. Service pressure from the inline paying off. Attack from Carly Wopat, and this time, 
She drives that ball to the ground from the left side for the point. Yeah, great footwork by Wopat as she kicks out on the left, comes in and really hammers that angle. Reestablishing that two point advantage. Megan Rice jump serve through the middle. And Rain King somehow gets the ball past Wopat's block and down for the point. Yeah, not pretty on this last one, but you'll take it, right? Ball hits the top of the net, somehow trickles over and stays inbounds. And no extra points for looks here on the side out, as long as the ball finds the open court. Take the point, make the side switch, and get back to action. What a set. By Megan Rice all the way out to the left side for Carly Wopat to just hammer down for the point. Yeah, it's almost like they're running an indoor set there. You see the big distance between the two players. Wopat way on the outside, but they executed just perfectly. Now Wopat from the service line now goes to the jump serve down the middle. It's going to be another service ace as Gebhardt can't handle that one. Yeah, right down the middle, a little indecision. And it seems like Rice and Wopat starting to find their groove. Now set point. Wopat with the jump serve. Down the middle again, ranking out of system and a free ball. Chance for Wopat goes to the back set. Hammers that one with nobody up. Takes the point and set number one, 21-17 for Megan Rice and Carly Wopat. We'll take a quick break between sets here. Stay with us for set number two from Stadium Court. We all know it's a good idea to recycle. But what happens to that aluminum can or all that paper after you put it in the recycling bin? Where does it go? What does it become in its second life? See how WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at wm.com slash stories. It's the choices we make that define us. Try and Trevor is coming off a tough, heartbreaking loss. And ultimately, the enemy is within. Some people want it. Some wish for it. But others make it happen. Try and Trevor is super lethal, bringing fire and passion to the court. How will you take charge? And welcome back. 2022 AVP Pro Series Central Florida Open. Matt Prosser alongside Dane Blanton here. First set statistics, Dane, what stands out to you here? Well, total domination right there by Rice and Wolpat. At the end, you saw they got a lot more efficient, hitting 391. They had a couple of blocks up at the net. They limited their unforced errors. And you know what? The three aces really causing some trouble right down the middle. That's where ranking and Gebhardt have to figure it out. Who's passing that middle ball? So Rice and Wopat taking set number one, serving first from the right side of your screen. Good dig by Rice and a chance for the counter attack. 
places that one over Gephardt's block and down to the point. Love Rice's defense right there. A little tomahawk over her head with both hands, controls it just perfectly and executes. Jump float serve from Rice. Goes over to Ranking, the right sider. There's another dig and another chance for Rice. Tight set. Gebhard attacking. And now Wopat will get a shot. And Carly Wopat places that one nicely to the corner for their second point of set number two. A nice rally here, but there's a nice pass forward for Wopat. The set a little bit tight, but Wopat has a nice little knuckle shot down the line. Ranking going for the back set. The attack goes off of Carly Wopat's block. And Ranking gets their first point of set number two. Nice change up in the offensive system there. As her serve goes over to Rice from the right side. Big swing. Ranking can't handle that one. Megan Rice with a nice side out. Yeah, you can just tell right now Rice and Wopat have more physicality. They're really peppering the ball, hitting it extremely hard, whereas Gebhardt and Ranking trying to place it a little more. Wopat with a strong jump serve down the line. Another back set picked up by Rice. And a counterattack by Megan Rice, working nicely for her side of four to one start. Megan Rice making a move into the line very quickly and early, but still ends up in the right spot right there. Gebhard and Ranking have to make sure they're giving each other the right offensive calls. Gebhard Ranking pulled a side switch, but it doesn't matter as Wopat goes down the middle for another service ace. That's number four for her side. Pat follows it up, staying on ranking from the right side. Through the middle, Rice with a dig. And Rice hammers that ball through the block and down. Six to one dream start here in set two for Wopat and Rice. Good glance at some Insider information there about Megan Rice and Carly Wopat. The more experienced team here in this match, as you can see. Strong jump serve again. Tight set out of system and Wopat scores the block point. Now 7-1 in set number two, Dane. Rice and Wopat really, you know, making their own luck here. They're they're blasting the ball. They're putting pressure on every facet of the game from the back line, defensively, up at the net as blockers in transition. They're blasting the ball and they're just starting to really feel it here in this second set. Completely in control. Nice option. Nice option play by Megan Rice there. As you said, Dane, completely in control. Eight to one now. Only thing Gebhardt and Ranking can do is call their timeout to try to slow down the momentum. And Gabe, Gebhardt and Ranking lost yesterday to Hildreth and Marciniak, and that was 10 15 in the third set. And now they're facing possibly their second loss. You see Gebhardt, 13th AVP tournament, ninth partner, Ranking, 7th AVP tournament with her sixth partner. So when you get to this 12, 13, 14 seed, you get a lot of players trying to find out the combination and what partnership will work for them. And uh, so far, so good for Wopat and Rice. Well, we talked about experience earlier on in this match, Dane, and clearly Wopat Rice have the advantage in the experience side. How does that pay off for them as well as 
12 versus 13. These two teams facing off in this contenders bracket match. Well, you know, experience is something that, you, you know, you just get over time and you can just tell that right now Wopat and, and Rice are sharper. They're dictating the pace of play. They're very consistent and, you know, they're, they're putting the ball exactly where they need to and they're out to a fantastic start here in this second set. Another strong serve by Wopat, but ranking from the right side goes high off the blocker's hands and earns the side out point that time. So two serving eight, Gebhard will serve now. Trying to create some momentum for their side. Nice goes left handed and drives that one through the middle. Well played by Big and Rice. That was impressive right there. The set's way inside and instead of adjusting, and stepping in, she just breaks out the left hand. Megan Rice, quite the athlete. And that ball into the bottom of the net as well. So a lot of trouble on the side of Gebhardt and Ranking right now. They've used their timeout. They can only hope for uh, the next stoppage, which would be the technical timeout at the culmination of 21 points. But right now, nothing going their way and all the pressure being put on by Wopat and Rice. Service pressure from Rice and Wopat continuing to help the cause. Nice counter attack that time to score their 11th point. Megan Rice again with a strong serve down the middle, out of system. Ranking will take a swing at it. Rice with a chance from off the net. Nice dig and we play on. Nice placement there by Ranking to bring it back to the sideline. And it's a 14 point side switch now. Yeah, if you're in this position and you're Gebhardt and Ranking, you just want to Put your head down, start to uh, just try to side out, try to get points where you can. You know, don't think of it in its totality. You're down by eight. Just try to get one or two points here and there and try to chip away. And maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for them to get back into it. But the way that Rice and Wopat are playing right now, they're not giving up anything. And right on cue, Dana, service ace for ranking that time. They do have a bit of a mountain to climb, but that'll make it a little easier. Ranking again goes over to Wopat. The left sider, high line shot, well placed around the perimeter right inside the inline. That was a solid shot right there. The defender was actually playing the line, but it's so loopy and into the corner, a bit of a rainbow shot. Really effective there by Wopat. Dane, for Rice and Wopat now, with this advantage in set number two, it's, what's it, what are the keys for them to close it out and, and try to move on through the contender's bracket? Not that this match is over yet, but it certainly looked like it's going to be in their favor. Yeah, I mean, really, don't change a thing, right? They're blasting their serves from the back line. They're placing their serves in the right spot. I mean, this, this is complete domination right now. They're playing solid defensively, not only at the net, but in the backcourt. And, you know, I was just going to say they're not making a ton of errors, but that time Wopan goes into the net. And there you see the winners will advance to play the two seed. Quiggle and Schirmerhorn, a very solid team on the AVP Tour, waiting for the winner of this match to play later on today. Yeah, and that'll be interesting as Wopan. well, Matt, because because Rice and Skirmahorn played together for quite some time. I remember them, uh, you know, having some effective uh, tournaments together, and now they're on opposite sides of the net. Yeah, it's inevitable that you'll play a former partner on the AVP Tour as Rice gets a nice dig and a counterattack, hammering that ball cross-court for the winner. 
just the thing that stands out the most, Matt, is the physicality on the side of Rice and Wopat. They're playing at such a high level, hitting the ball very high over the net, and, and they're just picking their spots. Good cut shot there by Ranking from the right side. Scores their sixth point, and it'll take us to our 21-point technical timeout. And talking about serves, Dane, let's check out the waste management serve of the day coming from Carly Wopat. Not just one, but multiple service aces by the Stanford alumni. Carly Wopat, aggressive service leads to the waste management serve of the day. Four aces for Carly Wopat, Dane. Yeah, most of them have been coming right down the middle of the court, but that serve, that last one we got to see, she kind of suckered the opposition into the middle of the court and then ripped it down the line, and that's exactly what you want to do. Keep the opposition guessing, and it seems like Wolpat and Rice are in complete command of where they want to put that ball, and that's why we see this huge lead here. Well, it just goes to speak on how important a consistent service game is from the inline for your side, especially when there's no wind, right? May or very little wind as we see here in Central Florida, not influencing the ball flight, but being just aggressive and attacking the seams through the middle, down the line, trying to get your opponents in a compromised situation, and it's paying off so far here for Rice and Wopet. Yeah, man, and, you know, let's talk a little bit about how playing all the way in December. It's pretty cool that there's an AVP event in December. There's been an international event in Australia that the results just came in. Kelly Chang, Sarah Hughes winning an Elite 16 event. That's, uh, I guess you'd make it three weekends in a row for the new team of Chang and Hughes. And uh, talk about representing the United States well pretty awesome. I'm not sure if we can really classify them as a new team as uh, they've made some noise together as a partnership in the past as you're well aware of. Yeah, you know, the most dominant team ever to play collegiate volleyball. They had 103 consecutive victories when they played together at USC. And I think everyone's happy to see after being on opposite sides of the net, they've gotten back together and it's kind of, I would imagine, they're in that honeymoon phase again. And uh, But what a showing, not only by them, but Julia Scholes and Betsy Flint getting second place. The girls from LSU, Cloth and Nuss getting fourth place. Megan Kraft and Stockham, uh, Stockman getting ninth place. So that's where a lot of these women's players are we're competing internationally it's really good to see them have that success yeah it's a very nice showing by the united states overseas down in australia especially over the last few weeks to wrap up that international season as teams kind of do the shuffle and prepare to start the quest for paris 2024 olympics team yeah, that is the goal. That is what's on everyone's mind. And uh, 2023 coming up, that means the qualification window will begin, I believe, in January um, next month. And so very important to position yourself uh, to get ready for that qualifying process. Well, ranking with a nice attack down the line. Still some work to do here. Will Pat will attack from the left side. Nice dig, but it goes over. Rice is there. She puts it down on one for their 18th point. It's not that Gebhardt and Ranking are playing too poorly. It's just the dominance of Rice and Wopat, and they're just continuing to put more and more pressure on it. Another tough serve gets the opponent out of system. Rice with a dig. Wopat on two, but just a little too strong that time. Ranking will serve nine over to 18. Will Pat from off the net? And there's a miss down the line. Thank you. Thanks. 
So some service pressure from ranking earns a point for her side as Wopat's attack misses sideline. We'll make the side switch. Wopat and Rice just three points away from taking this match. It's important for them to get the job done and save some energy for what certainly looks to be another match coming their way in the contenders bracket. The ranking says not yet. Not done, want to keep playing as she attacks down the line nicely for another point. Serve through the middle to Rice now. And Rice continuing to be aggressive on her attack. That time down the middle as well, Dane. Yeah, the 28-year-old getting up big and loving hitting right out of the middle of the court, especially when there's an open net. I think that Gebhardt and Ranking need to stay at the net, put that block up because of the offensive attack and how physical Rice and Wopat are. So Wopat has been dangerous from the inline in this match, but that time a bit too strong as it sails through the inline. Gebhardt, 12 serving 19, she misses. And that'll bring us to match point opportunity number one for Megan Rice and Carly Wopat. Rice goes to the sideline and she misses. First match point fought off, but still seven chances for Rice and Wopat, just one side out away from advancing now. Wopat from the left side, her attack goes into the antenna, that's out of bounds. Now yeah, when you get a lead like 20. this, yeah, sometimes things can get a little bit sloppy and that's what has happened here. Wopat and Rice just need to get it to the ground one more time. Down, right on cue, Dane Wopat from the left side with the aggressive swing. Drives her across court for the winner and finishes the match out. 21-17, 21-14 in favor of Megan Rice and Carly Wopat. So they're going to stay alive and advance in the contender's bracket. And Megan Gebhardt and Nicole ranking the 13th seeded team will wrap up their 2022 season here today. Yeah, you know, Gebhardt and Ranking, they, they came out really well in, I think, that first set, and then things kind of settled in, and Rice and Wopat started to turn things on. As you see, they will take on Quiggle and Skirmerhorn next, but it was all Megan Rice and Carly Wopat, especially in that second set. They got out to an 8-1 to one lead, and they just started to turn it up more and more from a physical standpoint, just blasting the ball cross court every single opportunity they got they brought it even if they were in a tough spot and their serving i think dictated the pace ripping it down the middle causing all sorts of fits for gebhardt and ranking and then we saw that line serve by wopat that was something special and if they can keep up this level of play they're going to be in good shape in their next match yeah the physicality definitely paying off for wopat and rice as they will go get some shade, get some hydration. We'll get a glance at the statistics here. And by no surprise, the hitting percentage, Dane, 438. Aces to errors in favor of Rice and Wopat, just winning every category there. And they've punched their ticket to the next round of the contenders bracket. So for Dane Bland, my broadcast partner, this is Matt Prosser. We're done for this match. Stay with us for the next one. Another women's contenders match coming up in about 10 minutes time here from Central Florida.